Well, the story centers around a character named Conrad, uh, who is, um, uh, he just got, uh, a, you know, his first new job, you know, fresh out of college. And uh, he's dealing with, uh, you know, the pressures of today's society, uh, stuff like that, and uh, realizing that, you know, you, your first job, you can't be very choosy, you might be working with a bunch of oddballs, so. Well, when it comes to Rise of Conrad, there's no real rise. He's kind of just a uh, uh, desk jockey. He's kind of the register jockey for the place, so he's just probably like, okay, I got this job, I'm going to keep my head down, and hopefully as long as the check clears, that's all that I care about. Basically, this guy, fresh out of college, goes into this cashier job. The only time I used my degree was with a dusty computer monitor, or in this case, cash register, and a bottle of Windex. Working at a sports store. Over time, he like develops, uh, I would say, sickness, and seeing people like they're not the same as me. Well, um, Mr. Humphreys, he is the uh, owner of this uh, sports store, and um, well, he, um, well, he's just a very, <laughs> uh, he's, a, uh, he's not a very uh, complex character. He's a, he, uh, I would describe him as a bit of a loon. Into this incarnation of it, when we got into the sports store and everything, I kind of looked at Chris as the boss's like nephew or whatever, just related to Humphrey somehow, got the job on a freaking whim and is so full of shit, he just wants to get through clocking in and clocking out. Well, I didn't even know my character until we started shooting. Um, I guess I was like a sexy, mysterious janitor, per se. And, um, you know, I did somewhat improv. And um, I never seen myself doing uh, something like that. Well, the, the darkness, um, you know, if you actually, you know, um, understand a cult or um, something like that, they, uh, you know, they we're dealing with the you know, a group of individuals that worship a specific thing. Uh, and, uh, well, the darkness behind this is that Conrad believes that uh, his employers are part of a cult. And, you know, um, what uh, he believes we worship is uh, basically, um, we leave a lot to the audience uh, to kind of decide that. But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, the, it's his frame of mind and um, it kind of fits uh, the way a person might uh, perceive people that are involved with the cult. Honestly, I took a more of a comedy thing because basically, here's the deal. I'm gonna sit down for this one. The trailer looks like a completely horrifying movie, but when you go in there, it's actually really hilarious. Like it tricks you, with the, like it makes you think, but makes you laugh at the same time. And it's dark. It's it's just dark comedy at its best. Oh, fun. No, uh, no. It was fabulous. <laughs> no, no, the thing is, um, I had never worked with George before. Uh, this is my first time uh, working with him. And the thing is, um, he let me get away with uh, quite a bit because, you know, a little every, bit? <laughs> every artist that you work with, they've got to be comfortable working with you. And I am so proud that he was comfortable working with me, uh, considering the direction I took my character. So, Sniffing, and the uh, fact that he paid me 50 bucks. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> so. So, yeah, uh, it, it was just, the whole experience um, was very rewarding uh, for me. That's taking the words out of my mouth because <laughs> there's nothing where it's like, oh God, what are we doing now? Yeah. It was just one after another. It's like, okay, can we do this, this, and this? Yeah, okay, cool, let's roll. <laughs>